Hello Rubbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a special Grounded video. Today I'm going to be showcasing all of the armors that were available in the demo. Now this may not be all the armors that are available when the game launches on the 28th of July on Xbox and Steam, but for now I think this is the majority of the stuff. I will show you though what's to come, maybe when it launches or maybe in the future there's a bunch more armor sets that we can get a glimpse of but we can't actually craft them just yet. For the best in grounded information, guides, tutorials, and let's plays, make sure you subscribe and you've got notifications on. Go and check out all the rest of my grounded content. There's so many here, I really like the look of them. I hope they keep adding more and more. I'm gonna go through some of their strengths, what they're really good at. And if you wanna know how to get some of these a little bit more legit, as I'm using a combination of cheats and the demo, you can go and watch my let's plays where I did get a bunch of these armor sets completely legit. And once the game's fully launched, I will showcase some more. Anywho, enough waffle, let's go through. So I've got the aphid slippers and I've got the might hat. Now the aphid is gonna give you a little bit more speed, just for a kind of little test run. That's my normal speed and that's my running speed. Now let's equip the aphid slippers. And you can see I'm going just a little bit quicker. It takes two raw aphid meat and 10 might fuzz. So quite expensive with the might fuzz but the Royal Aphid meat should be pretty easy to get hold of. Doesn't give it any defense, but it's still pretty decent. Now let's try the Might Hat. Now lots of the armors give side effects and the Might Hat gives the side effect of hyper stamina, which means that your stamina is gonna recover much quicker. Once it stops, it replenishes pretty quickly. Now because it's only one piece of armor, it's not as noticeable, but when you get some more decent armors, so you wear three pieces, it's a lot better. For the Might Hat, you're gonna need five Might Fuzz and five Grub Hide. So that's a pretty expensive piece of armor. Next up, we've got the Eye Patch. It doesn't do anything for defense, but it will give you some extra attack damage. It seems to do a little bit more damage. The Eye Patch costs one woven fiber, two fiber bandages, and one sap. Next up, we got the gas mask. Doesn't give any defense, but it will of course mean that you can go into the gas biomes and not worry about getting poisoned. You can see on the screen, it's gone all funky. That's because I'm in the area, but it's not actually damaging me. So you will now be able to explore all of this region. It's gonna cost you one weevil nose that you're gonna have to probably kill quite a few of, as you only usually get one in three kills. Four nat fuzz two woven fiber and a stink bug part. Doesn't give it any other protection, just that gas. So that's pretty much all the special sort of armor pieces. Let's start going through some of the sets. The most basic armor set and the easiest to get hold of at the beginning is the clover. You only need four clover pieces for the headscarf and one woven fiber, and it gives you a half of a defense. The vest is gonna need six clover leaf and three woven fiber, and it gives one whole defense. And the leggings again give half, three clover leaf, two woven fiber, and two sprigs. So it gives you mild protection and it's got a side effect of moist. Not 100% sure what moist does. I've looked at some of the side effects from some other things like smoothies and it has got the same like items and the same descriptions, but there's nothing for moist. It doesn't increase your speed as you swim because there is a perk for that already. And I don't think it gives you more breath underwater. So the only thing I can think of is maybe it will make less damage while you're in water in the future. I also know it's nothing to do with being able to hold your breath more, as again, there are some more perk side effects that do that as well. Next up after that is the anti-armor. You get a whole one defense with the helmet, one and a half defense with a chest piece, and one defense with the leggings. So that's three and a half compared to only the two that you get with the clover pieces. For the helmet, you're gonna need an ant head, you're gonna need three ant parts and five mite fuzz. For the chest piece, five ant parts, two acid glands, which you get from killing the soldier ants, two mite fuzz, and for the leggings, six ant parts, two woven fiber, and four mite fuzz. That's gonna be quite a lot of ants to kill. Its side effect bonus is that you can carry a lot more. With it equipped, you can carry up to eight pieces of stems or eight pieces of grass planks. Pretty much each piece is gonna give you the opportunity to carry one extra. And unlike a lot of the armor sets where it only gives you the side effect when you've got all three pieces on, this will give you it for each single piece. So that's how you can carry a lot more. It's so great for building and great for moving stuff around. Next, we've got the acorn gear. This is gonna be one acorn shell, five mite fuzz, and three woven fiber for the helmet, three acorn shells, six clover leaf, and four woven fiber for the chest piece. And the leg plates is gonna give you two acorn shells, four saps, 
and four woven fiber to craft. The helmet and the leg plates all give you one defense and you get two defense with the chest piece. So that's four defense, that's pretty good. Its side effects is max health and it's got a set bonus of uncrackable. Wolf spiders are probably the most deadly creature in the game. So what kind of damage does it protect? You can see that I've got a quarter of my health still. And that's pretty much what the acorn armor does. It gives you pretty much one line of defense. Whereas normally if you're wearing any other type of armor, you will get killed by a usual attack by a spider wolf. It also looks like the acorn pieces are more durable. So you won't have to repair it as often as some of the other armor pieces. Next up, we've got the grub armor set, which consists of the goggles, the chest piece and the leggings. And this is gonna give you a lot more stamina. So literally it means that your stamina bar goes down a lot slower, but it also has another side effect called plump and juicy, which I ain't gonna lie, I haven't worked out what that is either. So hopefully I'll be able to find out when the game launches. Now the grub goggles, while they give maximum stamina, the acorn pieces actually give you better defense overall. You only get one defense for the goggles, one and a half for the chest piece and one defense for the leggings. You're going to need three grub hide and one raw weevil meat for the goggles, five grub hide, two grub goop and four dry grass trunks for the chest piece and for the leggings, four grub hide, four dry grass chunks and two mite fuzz and it will give you that max stamina. Next up is the ladybug gear Now this is the best armor in the game for defense and possibly for attacking big creatures. The helmet, you're going to need one ladybug head, two ladybug parts and three berry leather. So it's going to be one of the hardest to get. And it's one of the few that I could play around with that was tier two. It also has blocking strength perk as well. Just take a look at all the defense you've got with the ladybug armor. Nearly three defense for the chest piece, two defense for the helmet and two defense for the leg plates. For the chest piece, you're gonna need two flower petals, four ladybug parts and four berry leather, five ladybug parts, four berry leather and four flower petals for the leg plates. It's nearly seven defense easily the best in the game. So that blocking power pretty much means that you can block a lot longer and a lot more against creatures. Obviously this is a big wolf spider. You saw there spin its venom took a small amount of damage. Then a bigger chunk there. I managed to defend a couple more times and didn't seem to be taking too much from the damage. It was like a perfect defense there. But one little slip and if you don't time it right you can still get killed quite easily. Now it has something called Scarlet Embrace. Again, I'm not 100% sure what that is. Maybe it gives a bonus when taking out ladybugs so you don't get as much damage. I'm honestly not quite sure. Then we've got the spider gear. Now this again gives you hyper stamina. For the spider hood, you're gonna need two spider fangs, three spider chunks, and two berry leather. Now I'm pretty sure you only get the spider fangs from killing the wolf spiders. It's definitely a hard piece of armor to get hold of but it will give you two defense. The jacket needs five spider chunks, three berry leather and four spider silk. Get that from any style spider. Again, it's gonna give you two defense and the knee pads, four spider chunks, four spider silk and two berry leather. And again, two defense. So the spider jacket gives just over two defense and the hood and the kneecaps give just two. It also has something called Hunter's Prowess. I'm guessing that's some sort of bonus for maybe using a bow or possibly with ranged items. Like I said, once the game's out and I've got more time, I will go through all of them and find out exactly what all of these side effects do. And I'll hopefully be able to show you some of the other armors which I can't craft right now. I'm also gonna be doing proper individual videos showing you how to get all of these armor pieces legitimate without cheats. But in the future, whether or not it's gonna be at launch, you're gonna be able to have a firefly headlamp so that does mean that fireflies are in the game. Doesn't do much in terms of defense. You're gonna need four iridescent scales. You're gonna need four scales from a firefly and five bilunar scoop. And then we've got bee stuff. Now I can't actually craft it, but I have seen a screenshot of someone wearing the bee armor. Defense wise, it's nearly two for the helmet and the leggings and just about two or just a bit over for the chest piece. You're gonna need five bee fuzz, two spider silk, and one berry leather for the helmet. And it is a tier two item. And you're gonna need a bee stinger for the actual chest piece itself. And the leggings are pretty much just bee fuzz and berry leather again with some spider silk. Its perk is gonna be sprint distance. So I'm guessing you'll be able to sprint a little bit quicker or for longer. 
And then we've got the Koi Fish Armor Set. So this does mean there's going to be some fish in the game. It does look like they will be probably a big enemy. Now interestingly, it doesn't give much defense. The helmet, the chest piece, and the legs at the moment give pretty much zero defense. And it's got a bunch of stuff that I've not seen yet and will hopefully come when it launches or a few updates later. But you can see it's going to cost Koi Fish Scales, a diving mask which you're going to have to make, eel grass strand, lily pad wax, and diving bell spider silk. So that means there is going to be another type of spider possibly in the game too. And for the chest plate, it's cattail plant fluff. We've seen that in the trailer and fish bone. And on top of that, the actual leg plates themselves require flippers. And flippers are made out of water boatman, a special little bug. And strider legs, again, another kind of water dwelling creature. So with all this stuff that we're gonna be using in water, I think we're gonna be spending a lot of time going underneath and gathering resources and fighting some of the creatures. Diving mask itself requires a rebreather, as well as some of that eel grass and the cattail. So pretty interesting stuff, what's gonna be happening. And these armor pieces look really cool. The rebreather will allow you to dive for a long time. There is also listed in the resources section a actual scuba mask, which I'm guessing is going to let you to swim continuously underwater. So that looks like that might be a quest item or something. With both of these perks, with the diving mask and the rebreather both having the veteran diver perk, which I'm guessing does mean it's going to be limited how much you can dive, but it'll still be longer than normal. The leg pieces and the flippers will both give you the swim speed bonus too. And the last one in the armor set that I found so far is the Strider Skates. These will allow you to walk across the water. It also needs two tadpole slimes. So again, another kind of resource that we're gonna be able to get hold of. Who knows, that might mean there might be some giant frogs. So I'm sure some of this may actually change for when it goes in launch. They might mess around with some of the actual perks and benefits. So just take this for what it is, a little preview. And like I said, as soon as we get any more details about some of the other stuff, I will show you guys. So that so far is a preview of all the armor in Grounded. I really love this. I really hope they add some more. I really hope they keep adding more perks to them in the future as well. I like that as well, that if you have a whole set, it can do that. You might want to mix and match some of these. And I will be working out guides with certain tools and maybe some of the smoothies that you can drink about making the best builds for maybe building, for going out and getting resources, for taking on enemies, or for just getting around the map pretty quickly. We've also got some other items still to come, like the glider and a few other bits and bobs. But yeah, we go. That is all the armors so far from the grounded demo and possible glimpse into the future. I hope you like this video. If you have, make sure you've liked it. it. Helps me out massively. Duh. And please make sure you subscribed and got notifications turned on. For the best in survival games, survival news, make sure you always got me locked down. And I'll see you, ratbags, for another video very soon.